in the stores in stores we can see all of the items we currently have on the base we have launchers missiles cannons guns all kinds of shit in here grenades so we have a lot of just all the standard stuff we start with it'll show the quantity 25 stingray missiles eight rifles etc etc and this is how much space each of the items use um, So it's not saying that a pistol uses only one, sp two pistols only use one space, or eight pistol clips only use one space. It's that each pistol uses one space, just as, uh, at least I'm, I'm pretty certain that that's how it works. So, going back here, you know what? Honestly, I don't even know if that's, if that's correct, but we'll, it, it doesn't matter. Last button is monthly costs. You go in. Uh, we oh, so we're renting these crafts. We didn't actually b buy them, uh, purchase them for ourselves. So we have the Sky Ranger, which is five hundred thousand per month. Um, an interceptor, which is six hundred thousand per month, and so we have two of them that equals a million two hundred thousand, and so on and so forth. Soldiers, engineers, scientists. You can see all the data here. Base maintenance. Uh, in total, we have 169,000 for ba base maintenance, and the grand total is 2,579,000. Our income is 6 million, so obviously we still get, we are still guaranteed a very large paycheck, which is about 4 million. A little less than. Now we're gonna go back. So, sla the third, third button here is soldiers. This is cool. This shows you the names of all your soldiers, their ranks, and the craft that they are currently in. Danielle Marcel. So you click on you click on a soldier name, and you, it heads you right into all the, all of their statistics and information, uh, starting with their name. That up there is the. This shows their rank. It's like their badge symbol, kind of. Um, armor. She has none on. We don't have any armors to spare. The rank is rookie. Missions are zero. Kills zero. And shows your craft. Now, all this information is actually... This shows your tactical statistics. Um, this is going to be effective on the battlefield. Now, clicking on these, you can scroll through each of your soldiers. Starting with Danielle, we can actually rename them by just clicking on their names. So I'm gonna name them after some of my friends. Um, this is a girl. We'll start with. Next, we'll go with. What kind of fucking name is Jungo? Jungo? I don't know if that's a girl or a guy. I really don't want to get that. I don't want to get that wrong. You might end up naming one of the soldiers after your friends, and if your friend is a guy but the character is a girl, I mean, it's just, it's really fucking annoying how that happens. I just end up renaming them afterward, but yeah, you want to make sure, I want to make sure that guys are guys and girls are girls. Makes sense, right? I'm fairly certain that that's a woman's name. And lastly, we're going to rename this fuck. Okay, we're good. Wow, lots of M's and a few B's. What the fuck is it with all these M last names? Jesus. Okay. Next window is Equip Craft. In this window, you can see the Sky Ranger or, and Interceptors from the hangars. These are all the ships. The status, they are all ready. 
weapon systems, the crew, if there is any present on board, and I think this is heavy weapon, I forget, but it might have something to do with vehicles, something like that. When you go into the Sky Ranger, you can check out the, this is the damage percent percentage up here. Uh, if your ship is damaged, it'll obviously be, around, you know, it'll be above 0%. Fuel, it has 100% fuel at the moment. The crew, when you go inside of it, it shows all your soldiers again. And you can deselect, take them all off the ship, or put them all back on. And it, it always goes in this order, I believe. There's no way to switch that, the order of it. Equipment is the next button. This shows you everything that's inside of your general stores that can be equipped on the Sky Ranger for your soldiers to use. So right now we have pistols, rifles, he a heavy cannon, uh, and a few grenades. Now I'm going to take out one of these pistols. I'm going to put another rifle in. You always want to make sure you have double the amount of clips that uh, than guns because one of the clips are going to be inside the gun and it's always handy to have an extra outside uh, like equipped on your belt. Okay. Uh, last window is armor. We can't do anything with this because we don't have any armors available so no one gets armor at all. Okay. Next window after equipping the craft is build facilities. So with this installation we install the facilities like such as if I wanted a living quarters I would place it here it always has to be attached to another facility it can't just be alone by itself but that blinking orange indicator shows you where it's going to be placed the hangar is four it takes up four spots in a two by two grid crazy so one of the things that I'm definitely going to want besides missile defenses you know to make sure that this place has some defense is an alien containment facility the alien containment facility stores aliens from your missions um, and that's going to be important later on so I shall build one of these I'll have it I'll have it branching off of the laboratory perfect so it's going to take me 18 days now Ah, yeah. It'll tell you in this window as well, when you click on the facility. The cost, so it's 400000 It was 400000 for that. How many days it's going to take to complete, and the maintenance of the facility, which is, it's going to take out every month. Next up, we have research. Shows you how many scientists available up here, how many scientists allocated to a research project. Um, there's nothing on here yet, but we're going to begin a project. I'll show you how. We click New Project, click on Laser Weapons, Start Project, and Increase to 10. We don't really care about this other shit. We really need laser weapons. So the progress is currently unknown. Um, it'll boost up eventually to maybe poor, average, or uh, good. I mean, unknown could even mean good, so it's not really like boosting up. Anyways... Next window is Manufacture. Same thing as Research, pretty much, except this time you're producing items. And there's nothing to produce because nothing has been researched. So, pretty much, you're only, you can only manufacture items that you have researched prior. After this is Transfer. Same idea as the transfer found in the base information window. This is for transferring items from base to base. And it shows you your current funds up here for some reason. 